cloudy today. Uh, the sky is not blue at all. It's kind of gray. So I was thinking between a bronzy look to like kind of ignore the fact that the weather is cloudy outside right now or if I should go for more of like a matte, muted down type of look. I think I'm leaning more towards the second choice because I'm sure there will be a day for me to do a bronzy makeup look later on this week. I haven't put on sunscreen yet so I brought the two sunscreens that I've been using. I'm gonna use this one today because I really have to finish this up. Even though it's cloudy, I really have to get myself to get in the habit of using sunscreen every single day and once you start to wear sunscreen you kind of get used to this like feeling of wearing sunscreen i don't mind the oiliness as much because i used to hate this so much never used to wear sunscreen but let's let this settle down a little bit and then we'll get on with our makeup look okay my skin is still very glowy which i don't mind and you can see like it's really not that sticky so i'm gonna get going with my makeup i'm just seeing my friends for dinner so i'm gonna keep it very simple and like what i do on an everyday basis i don't really want to use my hands today so let me look for a puff and i tend to do my under eyes last for the most coverage because the longer you leave the concealer sitting on your skin the more coverage you'll be getting for under eyes i'll use a brush so I'll do that. It's not completely blended. You can see a little bit of strokes. And then I'll go in with the puff and just really pack it in. I just started business proposal, guys. And it's so good. I underestimated the show because I thought it would be really, 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 really cheesy. But it's it's cheesy, but it's it has elements that are just really good and it's watchable. It's not like cringe to the point where I can't watch it. It's like cringe to the point, it's funny. Highly recommend if you haven't started. I've been very into using green products for contour and blush. I just put on my headphones so I can watch the show while I do my makeup. I change up the way I do my contour um, depending on like the look I'm going for, but I'm just gonna do the basic, which is putting it right by my cheekbone chin underneath my chin a little on my forehead and today i'll like lift my eyes up here too this is actually a foundation brush from morphe but it's really good to blend cream products in for blush i'm using rare beauty's pinch blush in the color hope today i'm putting the blush a little above and bringing it to the front For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this brown just all over my lid. Normally, I use a warmer brown on my lid, but to match the cloudy, moody weather, we'll use this today. Same color on the lower lash line. <laughs> and then we're gonna mix these two. Thing. The blush is not giving as much of a cool tone look as I wanted it to So in this palette, there is this very like It's not a cool tone shade, but it is a peachy blush tone type of color That's very white, like has a lot of white tone into it So I'm just gonna use that and put it where I put the blush and now you can really tell that I have blush on right there. For outfit today, I kind of have three choices. I have three inspiration that I found off of Pinterest. Number one is just a very baggy outfit. Baggy pants and sweatshirt and the layered white t-shirt underneath. Second inspo is this. Baggy jeans, like the brief with the logo showing and then a tighter top. The last is um, somehow styling this. Because this top is one of those tops, like, I don't know when to wear it. Like, because of the turtleneck, you can't wear this when it's, like, hot outside. But you also can't wear it when it's super cold because it's sleeveless. 
So maybe today's the perfect weather to wear this. I think I already found the winner for today's outfit because I was looking for a possible sweatshirt that I could wear and I came across this one and I've actually never styled this hoodie in like a more of a fashionable like outfit way. I always just wear it just to wear something comfortable but I want to style it with the baggy pants and make it into like a skater girl outfit and then add this purse because I just realized that this matches this orange perfectly so I just feel like I have to do it now this is the fit and I really like it the pants are the polo chino pants that I thrifted they're very baggy and big on me but it is perfect for this look I layered a white graphic tee underneath it the one I'm wearing is from Alexander Wang do we like it? For shoes, I think I'm just gonna wear my white sneaker because my pants are navy. I don't really wanna wear my black Converse to add another color in. I just wanna add the white to match the white t-shirt. Lastly, for my hair, I decided to do a low bun because whenever I wear a hoodie, like especially with this thicker purse strap too, like I just have so much going on in the back. So keeping my hair down is going to annoy me. I just know it. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my bun. My hair is pretty easy to work with just because I just don't have a lot of hair to begin with but the game changer I would say is to get a thicker hair tie. This is not like one of those normal hair ties that we're used to. It's like a cut piece of elastic that's a little thick. I'm going to smooth everything out and I'm not going to keep it super low. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit so it's like right by my ears and then I'm going to start twisting. Wrap it around in circle until I just have a little bit left and I kind of like leaving the ends sticking out and then we're just going to tie it with a hair tie and you can see like my bun is tiny because I don't have a lot of hair and then in the front I'll just take a few pieces out and that's it Happy Monday! I did my basic everyday makeup today. Nothing really special. I worked out this morning and I showered and I had to be on a Zoom call so I just kind of had to like get ready. And then for my hair, I just dried it and used my Dyson to do like my normal blowout. And then for outfit today, you guys know if you've been following me for a while that I am a big fan of my halter neck tank crop tops. I have not worn them in a hot second. I just realized that like this morning and I want to wear them but it is not tank top weather just yet. So I'm gonna play around with layering today. Also this cardigan is from Urban Outfitters. I've actually gotten some questions on Instagram when I wore it on a story so that's the answer. But here's what I'm thinking today. So I'm going to wear this tank top from H&M. I love the straps are like kind of thin because it makes it easier for me to layer and you'll see what I'm talking about. We have the tank top on and on top of this, I'm going to put on my v-neck navy sweater. And this is what I mean by this tank top is easy to layer because it's so easy for me to like have it peek out through sweaters. So yeah, this is the look I'm going for and I have my like chunkier chain necklace on so that's also a little detail. And then for bottoms, I'm just going to put on my straight blue jeans because I love blue on navy. This is the fit. To finish off the look, I'm gonna just put on my Yeezys. These have been my go-to sneakers lately because uh, my other white sneakers are mid-rise so it takes a while for me to put them on and these you can just slip on and I've been a little lazy with my shoes so I've been reaching for these and I've been finding more ways to style my Yeezys because I've only been styling my Yeezys with like sweatshirts, sweatpants, like sweatsuits but I've been just really liking styling them with normal clothes too. This is the fit and good thing about this tank top and sweater combination, if I get sweaty I can always just do this or this. I just got back from the gym because I'm trying to get myself to go to the gym in the mornings and going to the gym in the morning is hard for me because it's really hard for me to not compare myself to the people who made it before I did 
like I will try my best to get up in the morning and the earliest I was able to go this past week was like nine and then I'll look at everyone that came before me and be like dang like what am I doing like I should have woken up earlier I would have had more time and it just leads to comparing which is not what the gym is about but I'm pushing myself slowly to wake up like 20 minutes earlier every day and today I made it there at like 7 50 ish which is really good and I'm really proud of myself but let me also show you guys my gym outfit um, this has been my go-to like workout top I usually don't wear long sleeves because I feel like I sweat a lot and I like having like tank tops so that I can like sweat and not feel so like not feel the material on my arm but I like this top especially for like leg days because I like don't have to see my arm muscle and then for leggings I have my Lululemon and then when I'm doing leg workouts I like wearing my Converse um, so the surface is flat and I can do squats and all that so that's the fit let's figure out the outfit I'm the type of person I like having my outfit picked out before I figure out my hairstyle or my makeup look so that's that first I kind of have multiple ideas today First, I don't think it's gonna work out because this graphic tee is just way too oversized But I want to see if I can wear this with a green skirt underneath Yeah, this t-shirt is a bit too big because I want it to be like like this length The next outfit I'm gonna try is with this skirt that I just recently got It's like a pinstripe skirt with this white tank top and a white shirt on top I'm not really liking this either. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like how this shirt fits on top of this outfit. <coughs> uh, this outfit. But I don't know if I like this base outfit in the first place either. I have a different white shirt which is like longer and more oversized. Does that look better? I think the really fun part of styling myself and getting myself dressed in the morning is just taking an outfit that's not usually my style so like the component of this outfit is not the most me outfit in my opinion but taking this and adding little things and adding the hairstyle and adding the makeup look to make it more me so that being said here's the fit for today I have everything on and I added three gold necklaces and I kind of have to like push this top up so you can see the gold necklaces they're all kind of the same length, but it works, you know? For shoes, I ended up doing black dogs with black socks. Um, I wanted to add a bit of darkness to balance out the look. I was recently at a AOMG concert in LA featuring Kugi, Uwonje, Sogum, Levita. And one thing about me, after concerts is that I spent at least two weeks hyper fixating on the artists that I just heard. This time around, it's Koogie. I've only been listening to Koogie. Let me listen to... Good night. Oh, this song is also so good. I absolutely love it when artists make a reference in their new song about their old song and Wifey by Kugi has a reference to Heartbreak Kid and every time it gets to that part I'm like yes to do this out in the parking lot. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi.
Happy Wednesday. My roommate has early morning classes from like 8 to 10 and that is why I have been up so early this week like trying to get myself ready before 10 so I can actually like talk to you guys and film my process of getting ready because if I do it any later I won't be able to like be live and talk through everything and also like make my room a mess while trying to get ready like everything that really takes me to get fully ready so here I am at 9 a.m. I actually did sleep in a little bit today so that's good I received a little PR box from Bubble and there are some products I want to try it's a cream stick blush from Bubble slash Ellie oh yeah this is perfect it's like a coral orangey color for my outfit I have two options but I think I really settled on one while I'm getting ready I'm gonna wear this top which is like my favorite summer top I haven't worn it in months so I want to wear that but I normally wear like nice trouser pants with those and like really dress it up or go for jeans but not really feeling any of those combinations today so I was like what pants could I wear with the top and I'm just really going to balance up like the dainty like very springy soft vibes with men's trousers um, and I think I'll like that vibe so this is the vibe right now with the top and the super baggy pants and for shoes i'm gonna balance it out again and go for these instead of like converse i feel like it kind of adds back the daintiness of the outfit with the lighter shoes i've been wanting to try this hairstyle for the longest time i just never had the opportunity to because it requires me to get out my straightener and i haven't really used like actual heat products other than my Dyson on my hair um, for so long but I want to try doing um, like the beachy waves where you go like back and forth with the straightener to make the curls I'm gonna grab a pretty small piece I'm gonna go in, out, in, out like that that uh, is it? That's kind of bad, but hopefully it gets better. Here's the finished look. I don't know how I feel about this side. It didn't really curl that well, but I like this side. And I will have to play around with this curling method to have it down but I think it's such a cute hairstyle for the summer. Super like mermaid, beachy. But yeah, that is today's look. Let's do a quick haul because I bought some stuff from the Sephora's spring sale and I also have another package that a brand sent me so I want to do an unboxing with you guys. From Sephora, I just bought all the things that I've been needing and things that I've been wanting to try for the longest time. I like waited months for the sale so I could try them out because um, the sale is pretty good. Like 20% off is really good for Sephora items. The first thing I got is a serum from Summer Fridays. I've been wanting to try this brand out and I'm running out of my skin food serum so I wanted to try something new. I'm looking for something that's really going to like plump my skin and really hydrate it. So this is deep hydration. I have high hopes for that. And then this blush I've seen Selena Gomez use in like a TikTok video I think or like some type of rare beauty promotion video when it just looked so good. You can use this for foundation or for cream products like cream blushes or a cream contour and as opposed to imitate like your fingertips and like how you blend it out with the brush so I can't wait to try this one out. I'm really, I want to try it out with the rare beauties cream blush. I have some hair products. I really want to try the entire way 
collection so I got their hair mask and then I got the fine hair shampoo from Way. and this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be I thought it would be tiny for some reason um, and then I forgot to get the matching conditioner so I'm gonna have to order that separately or go into Sephora if I need it urgently um, and then I have Bumble and Bumble's Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. I really like the heat protectant that I shared with you guys from Kerastase. I want to say is how you pronounce it, but they were sold out. So I wanted to try this one out because this one also had really good reviews. And I've heard really good things about this. And then I have a brow gel from Dior. This is super fancy. I don't really, I don't think I've tried anything from Dior Beauty. Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. I will have to try this tomorrow. Oh my gosh. So fancy. A Korean clothing brand called L'Artigent sent me some of their pieces. Uh, they let me pick out some of the pieces and I've been eyeing this brand forever, you guys. I been on W Concepts US website debating if I should get their varsity jacket or not and never like like did it but I was so close to it and they gave me the opportunity to try out their clothes so I had to take it and the first thing I see is this super cute bag it's like I think I could just fit in my phone in here and oh my gosh this is so cute it's my phone and it's like a nice pop of color that is so cute I I can't wait to style this for the summer and then I've been wanting like a white see-through top that I can layer with like bralettes underneath and this was like the perfect top it has this really cool texture and it's like the right amount of see-through that I wanted this graphic tee they sent me these two extra items pink like terry cloth t-shirt and then this like a sweatshirt but like short sleeve version never styled anything like this so so excited thank you i'm a misfit but you make it feel different change its definition it's just part of who i am